Everybody excited? <laughs> that was terrible. Hang on, we'll start the show in a minute. I gotta warm you guys up. All right. <clears throat> this side of the room. <laughs> that was pretty good. Let's try over here. I'll move over a little bit. We'll try one more time. Well done. <laughs> They're tuned now. On with that. This is cool. Stuff's working. <laughs> Sometimes not so much, but tonight, working awesome things. <sighs> you know, you're, you're not far from wrong. Last week in the wee hours of this evening, that guy, I'm going to talk about that guy. He's, well, actually, he's over there. That guy came up here and did a tarot reading. And some people were here and some people weren't, so let me give you, oh, there he is. He's over there. Um, the tarot reading was pretty simple. And he, he, had, he came up here and he started reading cards. He says, if this applies to you, stand up and if not, sit down. And by the end of it, it was me and about four guys who work on the show. And he said, okay, you four guys come to the stage and he does the rest of the reading. To summarize this process, in front of a room full of people, he said the following. He said, in the past you have screwed up. We're on camera, he used a different word, use your imagination. <laughs> he said, presently you are screwing up. Also probably true in a myriad of ways. He said, in the future, you will continue to screw up and you will pass this down to future generations. <laughs> there was no greater message you could possibly hear. It's like, your message is abject failure that goes on for generations. <laughs> kind of saw that coming. So I thought that was it. It was a fun thing. It doesn't matter if you believe it or don't. It was, a, it was an interesting message. And so I went on to my week thinking, well, that was a funny interlude. No, 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 no. If I don't really ruminate on something enough, the universe will come and get me. <laughs> so let, let me run down some of the, some of the uh, you know, the, there was business things that were like, I succeeded even though failure happened. Don't, don't worry about that stuff because that stuff's junk. But like when we were blown past by a really slick sports car that had a license plate that said failure, but it was spelled wrong. <laughs> that one was just plain cool. And we, we got to a show and the show was junk because we had a plan in our heads and we knew this plan couldn't fail. So we had to throw it away and do something else. <laughs> and then it worked really well. And so we were on to something and I've been thinking about it a lot. So now, of course, I figured at the end of the week, it's over, it's done. I open a book. I'm reading this book on clown. And I open this book and the chapter's on failure. <laughs> All right, fine, I hear you, space whale. <laughs> so we're going to talk about failure for a minute. I, it won't be long. It'll be fine. I'm not talking about the kind of failure. And there's this thing we've got where we're, oh, we were made to fail. And, you know, this whole disconnected thing where we separate failure from ourselves and call it a learning experience. That's great. I'm glad you're learning from your screw-ups. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, you know that moment when you absolutely screw up and right before anybody notices what your face looks like before you let anyone see you because you then grab the mask and go, everything's cool. This is a learning experience. That moment of vulnerability where real stuff happens, that's what I'm talking about. It is hard and it's ugly and it is where all of the really interesting theater stuff, the interesting performance, the interesting life stuff happens. If you can manage to take a deep breath and delay throwing, you're going to put your armor on. I put my, I'm putting it on right now. If that's, yeah, it's all armor. But if I take it off and I can wait one minute, one breath even, that's where interesting things start. So I took this piece of advice and I started thinking about it and what does it mean? And I started looking at all these symbols and trying to figure out what it was. It was like, you have screwed up. You're going to screw up. You will not only continue to screw up, but in future generations, you will be teaching them how to screw up. Again, the pride comes out. <laughs> but uh, I realized that I was looking at it from the wrong angle. I'm not talking about the embrace the failure angle or the learning experience angle. You know what the common denominator is? It's not the failing that's important, it's the doing. Because if I get up here and screw up, I still did something. The alternative is sitting on my couch, man. 
That's lame. I would way rather be doing this, right? So after a week of great rumination on a reading that happened on this very stage, I'm back here to tell you, tonight you're going to see people hit this stage. Some of them, they're likely to have screwed up. Or perhaps when they get up here, they will screw up. Or odds are, like me, they're going to screw up. What I love is that the people here, we cheer when somebody screws up because we want to support them. But what we're really cheering about is the doing. And I thank you for that, and I welcome you to the open stage. Yeah.